Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are crafting a stack of old farmhouse books. Now, I picked these books up at a thrift store, but you could easily pick them up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. The top book is actually a box that looks like a book, and I liked that because it lessened the weight of the stack, which I wanted to put on top of my DVD player to kind of hide it. So I used chalk paint and I got the covers painted. This did not um, jeopardize or alter the fact that the book could be read at some point, but I just wanted to use my white chalk paint and get these looking old. I just did one thick coat and then I set them under the ceiling fan, but I also didn't mind that some of the color from underneath showed through. After it was done, I took some dark brown paint and I just aged them up a little more. In some places I went a little thicker and then went back over it with white. I like the depth that it creates when you have to kind of go over a few times. And I wanted the pages to look like, you know, they had been read a lot and maybe some coffee spilled on them or tea and they had been well loved and they were in an attic for years and the attic leaked in the roof and it got them all wet and you get my picture? <laughs> So I sanded them up and just, I let some of the color underneath peek through a little bit. I then got out all my black letters to decide what I wanted and as it turns out I went with this softer, like a gray, um, and I really like how it turned out. So I just picked three words that I wanted to put on them, I used family, faith, and hope, I believe. If you have great handwriting or you can do the Ray Dunn sort of font or whatever you like, write it on there by all means with like a Sharpie marker or a paint marker. Whatever kind of font you like or Again, at the Dollar Tree, you can find letters all the time. The only thing I didn't buy at the Dollar Tree, well, okay, the books, but the chalk paint. And I bought that chalk paint probably three months ago. I've used it on 17,632 things, and I still have three quarters of a container left. I'm sorry I had to pull that out of frame with my vision. I had to pull it close to my eyes so that I could see better. And the letters aren't all straight, but I really just didn't mind how that looked, so I left it. When you can't see well, you have to accept imperfections. And the top one I had put faith on, I had centered it, it looked ridiculous, so I pulled it off and then moved it to the left. And so that's why you'll see it be there blank and then pop on. I like that that top book is thicker too. I get a little bit more height out of it. I just took some ribbon I got at Dollar Tree. I love polka dots. I am a freaky about polka dots. And I just tied it together like a little bundle of books. I cut the ends how I wanted them, and I love how it turned out. I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. And until we meet again, do not forget to craft cool things. Bye, guys.